Hello there. This is Dylan by Daylight, aka Dylan in the Details, otherwise known as the Brass Tax. I have about 1400 hours put into Dead by Daylight, most of that time being spent on the killer side. I'd say about 20% of that being spent on the survivor side. And I am a skull merchant main. I know that drives fear and pain and cringe into the hearts of certain Dead by Daylight players, but it is what it is. I'd say this right here is my fastest win. The quickest W. All it took was Haunted Ground, a hex that someone cleansed, and unfortunately, I was there at the right time when a survivor was there at the wrong time. It's as simple as that. And there we go. The whole game is over, pretty much. From this point on, it's a short game of cat and mouse. And I must say, this is probably the most efficient use of haunted ground I've ever had. I do not use hex builds, but this occasion was rather nasty. Yes! <laughs> At this point, I was going to down the Yunjin that was running away from me, but frankly, I just don't need to do that. As the Skull Merchant, you can damage someone all the way across the map, which is quite efficient use of your time. I like to think that the Skull Merchant is a sort of reverse trapper. And there you have it, a sound I hear most often as the Skull Merchant more than any killer that I play. For some reason, everyone just quits the game. I know this is a rough start, but the situation is not beyond recovery. I've seen all sorts of players come back in all sorts of ways, no matter the situation. Now that they have the information that Haunted Ground has been cleansed, well, there's one of my perks gone forever. And I could have less than two other perks remaining. I could have nothing left. Most of the time that will not be the case. I must say when I play this game, I play as nasty as humanly possible. Unless the survivors are being cute and memeing around. Sometimes I like the memes. I like a good joke. But I also like a real full-fledged game, one where I chase a hardened survivor and learn how to play better around certain areas. It's always good to improve your skill at this game. And although a lot of people say the Skull Merchant doesn't take skill, that's simply a bunch of seething and foaming people. There will always be a crowd who wants something gone, regardless of what it is or how it's reworked. They'll just hate it no matter what. It's the same with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's the same with any multiplayer game. Nerf this, nerf that. I don't want to learn. That's how it goes, and so it shall remain. Because now I'm fighting nothing but bots in this lobby. And if that's not a W, I don't know what is. Because this is the fastest match that I've ever had in terms of the Skull Merchant. Now, I may have had a faster Trapper match, but that's hard to say. I'll have to look back and find out. But as far as just utterly smashing, just completely defeating a team without a single gen done, this is it. This is as fast as it goes. Claire Redfield is hella cute. You know it's not cute? Quitting a damn game you could come back from. Holy shit. And these bots are absolutely horrendous at the game. It's quite hilarious to see, but you know, sometimes I just really want to play the game. You know, I just want to try to enjoy the game. Perhaps some people play the Skull Merchant as an accessibility issue. Kind of like me. I have terrible vision and I just can't help it. That's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was the fastest I've ever taken anyone down. Any team, that is. With the Skull Merchant. Until next time, folks. 
じゃあじゃあ。